This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. I'm going to show you how to weave on a non-patterning machine. Now keep in mind that when you weave, the purl side is going to be the right side of the work. I'm going to bring the needles out into hold position. The machine is not set for short rowing. I'm just bringing the needles out so that I can weave yarn over and under the needles. And I have this extra piece of yarn with clothespin on the end, and I'm going to go under and over the needles. I'm going over the first needle on the far right side, I'm starting with a really simple pattern. And I just do this loosely. And then I'm going to knit a row with my background yarn, which is sort of a camel color. And do you see what it did? It goes over and under the purl side of the stitches. Now I'm going to weave my way back. I have to go from left to right this time. And I'm going to go ahead and go over this first stitch and then under. You'll just have to make up your own design for the over and under part of this. But this every other needle is one of the prettier weaving designs you can do, and it's certainly a simple one. Just like that, and knit back. See what it's doing? Let me zoom in a bit. For my third row, once again, I bring all my needles out to hold position, and then I do my winding. Having my other hand underneath pushing the yarn back helps quite a bit. A lot of machines do weaving automatically, but here's a way to do it on almost any machine. You can use really fancy yarns for the weaving yarn. You can use yarn that you never would be able to get through the knitting function of the machine. And let me put a couple of rows plain in between designs. I just want to point out that you can do different designs. So that was over one needle and under one needle, but what if you went over two and under two? Let's see what that looks like. And coming back. Once again, over two and under two. get an entirely different effect.
by going over 2. You'll see as you play with this that weaving gives you a sturdy, thicker, warmer fabric and you will also see that it is less stretchy or horizontally. So that was 2 over 2. Let's take a, a few rows plain in between and try something else. Let's try doing 1 over 1 and under 3. going to repeat that going in the other direction and go over one and under three on the return pass. And you might be thinking, well look what long floats that has. You may not be crazy about the long floats, but there's something interesting you can do with them. Let me get a, another one in. Every needle needs to be out and hold. Right off somewhere. Then what people do with this is they'll take a transfer tool and they'll pick the stitches up onto a center needle and make these clusters, which are kind of pretty. So here are my three little experiments weaving without using the machine's patterning. In other words, a technique you could do on your LK150 or on a Brother 230 or whatever you have that does not have patterning. This was the Every Other Needle and it alternates. It was um, started the row with over and ended with under and then on the way back it started with over so that they're offset by one. And then this was the two over two and then this was one and then three and then I picked them up and made these little clusters. So there you go, some things to be thinking about weaving with any machine.